Hello everyone, so welcome to the fourth video of my YouTube channel for Meta 26, the Calc, the Calc 3. And in this video, I've been talking about some homework problem that just uh, some hint that just uh, walk through some homework problem and you may know what to do. Just, just like, I don't want you to waste the hours on just to, to try to figure out one single problem because I don't want to waste your time because your time is precious for you. And I bet many of you may be there like either freshman or sophomore for applying for like many capacity constraint majors. And I'm writing this video to help you to get a high grade as possible, just help, help you to learn better in Meta 26. Because I know that those calculus courses are weighted heavily on your like a major application because I want everyone to get into the design major in one shot. And let's get started. So in 12.3, it is called like the dot project. It's the only properties of the dot product is is can only happen to like the vector by vectors. Why? Because it just is is just larger here. And with your dot product, make sure like you have to do a vector and a vector. If you have a scalar and a vector, you can do the multiplication, but not the dot product. In this part of the calculus courses, a dot, a cross x sign, and a multiplication there are three different operations. So if there are any just a, uh, and actually for dot product, you can do dot product of two scalars or the two vectors, but not a vector and a scalar. So here's the properties of a dot product. And it the operation of the dot product just uh, if a equals to a1, b1, b equals to b2, a2, b2, b equals to b1, b2, then the dot product is going to be a, a dot b is going to be a1, b1, then, then going to be a2, b2. If there is a, b, it's like a1, B1, C1, just the same thing, but just a more computation for you. For this, just uh, for number four, it is I, J, K. So if they're missing K, then the, then the Z is a zero, because I, J, K represent the X, Y, and the Z. And just make sure you just don't miss those those like variables when doing like vector computations to find a dot product. And number five is just uh, and you find those angles here, and you just need to do like a a dot b is going to be. We already have the magnitude here. We have the magnitude. And we just to, to put into the equation that is a dot b does a magnitude times b magnitude, their multiplication. It's not a dot product, just the multiplication. So don't put a dot in a and b. And the a times b, a dot b, it is a magnitude, b magnitude, and cosine of a theta, where theta is angle between a and b. In this case, number six, if u, v, and 
w, all three vectors are univector. Their length it is one. If they're forming a triangle here, they are equilateral triangle, which all three angles are. Sixty degrees and convert this degree into radian mode. That is your angle, and just uh, now you need to find the dot product. It's like you need to find the the magnitude and like all like the things and do computation here. Because now I mean, there's no point. Seven. So you say magnitude times angle when there is no point back in so if there is like because there's no such value like a v one two three or u one two five there's no given value numerical values in this case we just have a vector or the unit vector we need to compute the magnitude use the magnitude to find the dot product Number seven is the same thing. You just use the, actually you only find the exact angle. We need to, and in this case, if we have a defined value here, but it's like we can't just uh, compute their dot product because they're not asking for the dot product. They are asking for the ang exact angle between the vectors. So we need to use, the a magnitude, the multiply by the b magnitude times the cosine of a cosine of theta equal to the dot product. And now you you can find the cosine of theta here and find the angle using the inverse trig functions. Now use the inverse trig inverse cosine to find the theta here and beside here. You need to find the magnitude of each vector a and b for the computation. The, here is the same thing, just a read read the vector into x, y, and z. Just uh, it's nine negative two, one, and just going to be eight a zero and negative one, just make sure to write a vector into like numerical form. And then just uh, use the same equation that's here. And then you just uh, find a magnitude, find like the cosine of theta, and you just uh, find like, all like the um, exact angle uh, just between the vectors. Yep. And that will be. And, and number nine, number 10, I would just uh, like talk them all together. He was like, it's the consequence of a two vectors zero together. It's like when they're orthogonal, they're perpendicular. So the angle between two vectors is 90 degrees. It's when the dot product two vector is, is a zero. If their two vectors are parallel, in this case, we will find whether the dot product, whether two vectors have the same magnitude. If they have the same magnitude, if the same magnitude is equal to their dot product, they are parallel. If a positive, positive relations, then it's in the same direction. If the, if the, dot product it is equal to the negative in the multiplication of their magnitude, then the two vectors, they're parallel, but opposite direction. Just make sure to pay attention like the two like two about like two about like two about like two about like a negative sign because they're either in the same direction or the opposite one. We have your given those point, and it's like obviously you have this angle just to join the triangles here. 
what you need to do first is just to define their the triangle formed by three vectors. When you have the vectors, you just try to find the magnitude of each vectors. And then using the magnitude magnitude angle to find the dot product. And then and then that just to, that just uh, gives you the angle for each between the vector, make sure like with them as A, B, C, so you will not mess up doing the computation because one computation can cause the entire question to mess it up. So be careful when just uh, labeling your vectors or just uh, doing everything that you need to do. This is for number nine. And the total amount of angle is 180 degrees. So make sure all all three angles add up to 180. If all three angles adding together exceeding 180 degrees, there might be something wrong in your work. So make sure to check your computation and your calculator is always in radiant mode as you always in radiant mode. Number 11 is the same process as the nine and 10, just make sure like you find a magnitude and, you, and then you use the dot product. If the dot product of any two of the three vectors is a zero, then there's a, they're perpendicular and the one the angle they're 90 degrees. Right angled means like there's a one angle is 90 degrees. So it's a right triangle. So if there are any two to three vectors have a dot product of a zero, then this is a right triangle, which is right angle. Otherwise it is not right angle. And now orthogonal to both i, j and i, k. The orthogonal is means like the product the dot product equal to a zero of the two vectors. And number 15 is like the scalar projection, just a component like the equation because scalar projection gives us a number they're positive or negative. For vector projection, it's just a project P, R, O, J, A, or B, and then this produce a vector. The main difference is because there are two different things. They look same, but they're not. So just be careful when, it, when you're trying to do those things. Same for this numbers. 16, just uh, manipulating the equation, then you find the appropriate vectors that you want to do. Thank you so much. This will be all my video walkthrough homework problem for section 12.3. The next video will be on section 12.4, which is the cross product. And now the major vector operation that you will learn in method 26. Thank you so much and have a great day. And if it's Friday and it's April Fool's Day, just, uh, so what's your April Fool's plan? Are you gonna plan to fool somebody? If you want to fool somebody, just uh, fool somebody because it's April Fool's Day. Thank you, have a great day, man.